Fund Supermart, your online gateway to unit trusts. Hi Marcus, thank you very much for being with us here today. The HSBC Global High Income Bond Fund has acquired an impressive track record since its inception in July 2010. So could you share with us what have been the key drivers and investment themes that have worked out for the fund so far? There are two main reasons why the fund has performed very well over the last year and, and won many awards for its performance. First of all, it is very diversified. Uh, there's about a third of the fund typically invested in emerging markets, a third in dollar markets, and a third in uh, euro markets. In addition, we invest in a large number of issuers, so the risks are very diversified across a large number of companies. And the other reason, which is just as important, is we deliberately selected the uh, triple B and the double B parts of credit markets for this fund. This is a bit unusual because it covers both investment grade and high yield, but we thought five years ago that these would be good parts of the market to invest in, and, and that indeed has turned out to be the case. So during this period, what was the most challenging aspect of managing this fund? Uh, managing money is always quite difficult, uh, and I, I, we look to take decisions on a medium-term basis, uh, be it allocating to one part of the market versus another, or indeed taking a, a decision on one issuer versus another. And obviously markets are often quite volatile, um, so, for instance, the one period where the fund did underperform was in the um, third quarter of 2011 during the so-called euro crisis. Um, spreads rose quite strongly. Uh, the fund went down in value. Um, but we held the positions through that period and, and indeed we got back that underperformance and the absolute performance um, through 2012. So, often the hardest part of managing a fund like this is just being patient and sticking to our fundamental views. The fund is able to invest in fixed income securities from the whole credit rating spectrum. So, Marcus, where do you see the most value right now? And which segment, in terms of credit quality, have contributed to the greatest return to the fund? Well, when we started the fund, as I mentioned earlier, we, we did focus on that triple B, double B area. And the analysis that we do at the moment still says that this is a very good part of the market if investors are after a, a good yield and good uh, risk-adjusted returns. Uh, we think that in the US, government yields are likely to rise going forward. Uh, this reflects a stronger economy and the likelihood of the Federal Reserve raising policy rates. In this environment, um, higher quality bonds, uh, single A and double A bonds, um, may well go down in value, whereas um, lower rated bonds, the triple Bs, the double Bs, and the single Bs, um, uh, the spreads here may well come down, compensating for the higher government yields. So we think that we can um, still have uh, positive returns from those parts of the market. All right, moving over to the emerging market credit space. How has it performed this year? And uh, how have you positioned your portfolio in terms of its exposure to emerging markets? Emerging markets have clearly been um, a challenge this year. Uh, the, the, uh, many of the countries uh, produce commodities and uh, with the slowdown in China and the slowdown in Chinese capital investment, uh, commodity prices have come off. Um, that's been a challenge for emerging markets. In addition, inflation has been higher in some of these emerging markets as well, although that's now um, sh shown some signs of stabilization. So we have been cautious in the emerging market area. Uh, we've had quite a lot of cash in that part of the portfolio, and we've been very conservative in terms of where we've invested. Um, we've also been very cautious over the high yield parts of emerging markets, uh, where there are often some, some quite large um, country risks related to the individual countries. Having said that, I would think that the um, sell-off that we've seen over the summer has provided opportunities, um, both are on the hard currency side and indeed in some local currency opportunities as well. Um, um, so, so this has uh, given us that had, this has given us an opportunity to actually put more money to work in this part of the market. What is your outlook for the various fixed income sectors over the next two to three years? Well, we think that government markets will be challenged in terms of providing positive returns. Um, starting yields are very low in the Eurozone, although we don't expect yields to rise that much, uh, given the uh, weak economic conditions and, and the expected low inflation. Um, but we do expect US government yields to rise. 
Um, so, so it'll be difficult to make positive returns from owning government bonds. Um, we think in the credit area, we think there are opportunities, but you need to go down into the lower rated credit. So if you don't want to have the volatility and all the fundamental risk of a full high yield fund, then having a fund like the high income fund that invests principally in triple Bs and double Bs should provide a good return going forward uh, for your investors. Thank you very much, Marcus. Thank you very much for your insights today. Thank you.